Welcome to e-learning session. We will learn about the terminals. So, let's get started. Let's start by reading these phrases. Every child, the tastiest fruit, bat building, some confusion. The highlighted words are determiners. Why? Because they are telling us something about the noun, child, fruit, building and confusion. So, how do we define a determiner? Determiners are words which identify or specify a noun and point at it. How can we differentiate between adjectives and determiners? We all know adjectives describe a noun. She is a pretty girl. The word pretty is telling us about girl. This girl has a stood first in class. The word this pinpoints or specifies the girl who stood first. So, a determiner specifies a noun. The form of an adjective can change. Weak, weaker, weakest. Let's understand this with few sentences. He is a weak boy. He is weaker than his brother. He is the weakest among the siblings. The form of adjective weak has changed. Determiners remain the same. Any, many, few. In any books, many children, few chocolates. An adjective is placed before a noun or as a complement of a noun. An interesting book, the book is interesting. Determiners can come only before a noun. Examples, this pen, that box, some ideas. We learnt about what is a determiner, differences between adjectives and determiners, and let's learn kinds of determiners. Determiners are of six kinds. Articles, demonstratives, possessives, distributives, quantifiers and interrogatives. Articles we all know a and the. This, that, these, those are demonstratives. My, his, your, her, etc are possessives. Either, neither, each, every are distributives. Some, any, little, a little, the little, few, a few, the few, etc. are quantifiers. And interrogatives are wh words. That is, which, what, whose, etc. In this video, we will learn correct use of some determinants. This, these, that, those are demonstrators. Let's understand them with the help of these sentences. This photograph is my favorite. These charts are helpful. Determiner this and these are referring to objects which are close by, near you. That cupboard once belonged to my grandmother. Those papers are important. Like this and these, that and those also refer to objects which are at a distance. This and that is used before singular nouns and these and those before plural nouns.
little a little the little denote quantity and are used before the uncountables i have little money little conveys not much hardly any it is almost in the negative sense we still have a little money with us we can buy a decent dinner a little means at least some though not much it conveys a positive sense the little rice that the shopkeeper offered me was of an inferior quality the little means the whole quantity though very little not much few a few the few denote number and are used before the countables in the plural number let's see these sentences this tv channel is not good it shows few good programs few means not many it conveys negative sense i have read a few books on this subject the sentence conveys the meaning that there are many books but i have read at least some though not many it conveys a positive sense i have read the few books i have the few means all of them though very few some any some and any can refer to both quantity and number i bought some ice cream do you have some time some is used both in affirmative sentences some is also used in interrogative sentences some when we use an interrogative sentence it's an offer or a polite request and we expect an answer in yes i have not seen any bookstores here do you have any ice cream at home any determiner is used in negative and interrogative sentences we use any when it is very clear from the question that the answer will be no so quantifiers little a little the little few a few the few some any tell us something about number or quantity either neither you can take either bus tall multi story buildings have come up on either side of the road in the first example it tells us that the person has a choice you can choose any of the buses from among the few in the second sentence he says on both sides of the road so either has two meanings any of the two or the both neither candidate deserves our support it means not the one nor the other neither is the opposite of either each every talk to each child separately each is used when we think of things separately one by one every soldier had a gun every is used when we think of the things as a group meaning without exception let's keep this in mind that each is used when we refer to a small group or when the group is limited and definite every is used when the number is large or indefinite 
So students, let's have a quick recap of what we learned in this video of determiners. Determiners specify the noun. We learned about the usage of demonstratives, quantifiers, distributives. Demonstratives, this, these, that, those. Quantifiers, little, a little, the little. Few, a few, the few. Some, any. Distributives, either, neither, each, etc. We come to the end of this video session. Thank you.